going everyone? Abe Zanot here from EveZanot.com. Uh, today the kind of topic I want to talk about is um, the Powerball and kind of having that lottery mentality as far as um, your business on um, online, offline, just, you know, any business venture that you have. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, I think the Powerball is going to be at like 300 plus million by tomorrow, by Saturday. Um, you know, it's another, like one of those record highs again. And I'm sure you'll see a lot of people buying, you know, a lot of tickets uh, within the, these next few days to try and win it, you know. Um, and I was kind of wondering, like, how does it get so high? Because you know, it, it involves having you know people buy the tickets, and that's how the jackpot jackpot keeps going up. So I was kind of figuring, trying to like, just kind of wondering how what makes it keep going, other than you know, the news kind of feeding into it. But I mean, part of it is also like my coworkers and I were talking about. Like yesterday, you know, at work, we were talking about like what we would do if we won the lot. You know, uh, mind you, I didn't play, so I'm, I didn't win. But um, you know, we're talking about what we, what we would do if we won it, like what we, as far as the money and all that stuff. And you know, I just then that's when I realized, like, with the lotto, it's you know, everyone talks about you know what they would do with the money, so then they, they get excited about it. So they're like, hey, you know what? I can get, I can have all this stuff that I want. I spend two dollars or however much it is to, you know, to get a ticket. So it's like essentially they're selling the dream to win, you know, millions of dollars. But, but I mean, of course, your chances are really, you know, slim to none. I mean, only a few people when they get that, you know. And then and that's kind of what it is with uh, as far as the Powerball winning it and stuff. And I know some people won it. Now I don't know personally, but from you know what I've read about it in like videos and things like that that I've seen that. Some people have called winning the lotto a curse. Uh, I know there's a, there's a stat out there that says that some of the Powerball winners actually are worse off in a few years than before they won the lottery. So it kind of sucks. But I mean, I, I think a lot of it has to do is just having that, you know, your financial thermostat is not set for that amount of money. So what do you do? You just kind of spend it you know, without really thinking about it. And then, you know, it's, well, a lot of, as far as the, like I was talking about the lottery mentality, you know, just getting excited and what you want to do with all that money. Um, and it kind of, I was thinking about it, it's similar to, like, some people out there with their online business. I'm sorry, just their business in general. They have, like, this lottery mentality with it. They think that, hey, I'm just going to shoot one video or I'm going to make one ad. That's going to make me, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, but in reality, that's actually not how it works. It's about taking consistent action on a daily basis, you know. Sometimes you could make 20, 30 ads, Facebook ads, you can shoot 20, 30 videos, and you might not even get a lead, you know. But it's about taking that consistent action, you know, and some people, unfortunately, have that mentality. I mean, maybe it's just the way they've been kind of taught how to market online, like, just having that lottery mentality with it instead of just putting your head down and taking massive action. Um, you know, so that's kind of my thoughts on that. I mean, and a lot of it too is, you know, think about when you first started in this business, you know, you're, you're setting goals, right? And you're, you get excited about the possibility that can happen for you. I know I get excited when I set goals. But I mean, what's the number one thing people do after setting goals? I mean, you're supposed to implement, you're supposed to do something that's going to move you closer to your goal. But the problem is, after people set goals, they get all excited, you know, they get happy. And they stop, you know, and that's, that's kind of it. And they'll, quote unquote, work on it tomorrow. But, you know, I know a lot of my mentors have told me the best time to take action on your business is right after you set your goals. You know, just, because you've got, you've got everything in motion, so just basically keep the momentum going. Now, you know, I just kind of talked about the lottery, uh, the lottery winning mentality and, you know, just make sure you don't do that for your business and just know that it's all about taking daily consistent action. Um, easily not here, make sure to click the link below. It's just my Facebook. So you can kind of see everything that I do. Okay.